It's a great question, and I think it's one that a lot of consumers just don't really understand the process. Now, it's not inexpensive to build in today's world. I mean, and material costs are on the rise. People have heard about two by fours uh, being ten dollars a piece, or OSB being up to fifty eight dollars a sheet, and and that's crazy. But um, that will subside too, and. If you can get locked in on pricing with one of these large builders, you kind of know what your price is going to be at the end. So it takes the guesswork out of it and makes that process a little bit more rewarding. Now, if I were a buyer, I wouldn't want my own representation. And that's where a team like ours, who has a lot of new construction experience, can really add value in short order. You can go in there and help them um, put together their home on paper and point out things that they should know, like some builders don't offer a garage door opener as standard or air conditioning or other features and benefits that some people just assume come in the home and they don't always do that. And sometimes the builders will say they can be added on over time. But honestly, it's best to really understand all that up front and roll it into your, your overall purchase, put it into the, to the loan because out of pocket costs like adding air conditioning and things like that later. It sounds easy, but a lot of people just don't end up having, having that money after, after close, especially when they're having to put in landscaping and other things like that, underground sprinkling. So those are the things that we can help to take out those guesswork uh, items and just be a sounding board. And then when they do need uh, help sometimes with the builders not getting back to them in a timely manner, we can come in and, and uh, be their voice. So if I were a buyer, I would want an advocate. I'd want somebody that's in my corner fighting for me at all times, not fighting for the builder and or a herd of other buyers that they're working with.